For years, one of the last of the Saturn V moon rockets had lay rusting outside the Kennedy Space Center, and it seemed as if the true legacy of man's greatest adventure in space was fading along with the last of the moon rockets. NASA wanted to restore and display their rocket. Presenting the story and history of Apollo missions to an audience became the mission of the Apollo Saturn V Center. NASA turned to the innovative BRC Imagination Arts to design the experience. The journey begins by reliving the past. I'm John Hudson. This is Pad 39 of the Kennedy Space Center. I was a launch controller here when from this very spot, man took off to fly to the moon. He takes us through the hopes and fears of the early space program and to Apollo 8, the first attempt to launch the Saturn V rocket with people aboard. With the stage set, the doors open and the audience is invited to step back in time and enter launch control, just as it was on that historic day. When a Saturn V rocket lifts off, everything shakes. The walls shake, the windows shake, the ground shakes. When the ground stops shaking, the doors open and the visitors are in for a sight they will never forget. You get goosebumps, it's that chilling. It's very impressive, very. The rocket leads the visitors to the 400-seat lunar theater. It is here they will step inside man's first ascent to the lunar surface. When you come into the lunar theater, what you'll see is a multi-screen recreation of what really took place that night. The show evolves into a spectacular stage presentation, allowing visitors to see man's first step on the moon. It was absolutely wonderful. Better than Magic Kingdom all together. As many miles as it took to get us here from Edmonton, Alberta, I just love it. Perhaps the next person on the moon is walking through these doors right now. <laughs> <laughs>